BSA Solutions joins the rest of the world in celebrating International Women's Day on March 8. This year's campaign theme is hashtag Break the Bias. Live in a world that's free of biases, stereotypes, and discrimination. Let's do our share in being inclusive, diverse, and equitable. Celebrate and value our differences. Together, let's forge women's equality. In this video, we talk to the femme fatales of the BSA community and squeeze their brains on some interesting questions. That would be my grandmother, my mother, and my sister. My mother, myself. No, yeah. Lola, um, mom side, my Lola, dad side, and my mom, of course. That would be my Lola, that would be my mom. Okay. Do you believe in Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Oprah went free. <laughs> my mom. Lola. <laughs> First is my mom, second my sister, and third my aunt. My mom, um, my spiritual leader, and one of my sisters. Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher of the uh, UK. She's powerful and a great leader. Marilyn Monroe because of glamour and fun. And of course my mom who raised us and inspired us to do well. My mom, my manager from the previous company, and my aunt, the sister of my mom. My mom, she embodies inner strength. And the second one would be Miriam Defensor Santiago. <laughs> she is an embodiment of grace and being intelligent without being overbearing. And the third one would be Captain Marvel. The most influential woman in my life is my mom. And there's no other one. First, my mom. <laughs> Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa. <laughs> Last, um, Marie Curie. <laughs> she's smart. First would be my mom. Second would be my sister because she's the reason why I'm passionate about poetry and um, painting. And third would be my Mama. Well, I think my mom to start with, Zana as well, so far since I started my career. So I am up to her because of her success. And yeah, I think that's it. Well, I can be the third. <laughs> First is my mother uh, for being resilient and brave. Uh, second is my mother-in-law who is an ultimate optimist like there's nothing you can't do you can do everything and probably the third one is Oprah for her altruism you know her fight to actually help the poor people and the underdogs I think it's about the how to say it it's not the OCD but a lot of things that men will never understand about women especially inside the house is you know how women is looking after the family the house and the rest of the things mood swings <laughs> i think it's the mood swings every woman will be looking to the senses so i won't explain woman's intuition being sensitive <laughs> that's not true. that's not true yeah. <laughs> being so patient yeah this men are stupid <laughs> It's actually to nurture life and to be able to give life. I know it's it's a difficult topic because some people probably or some women may not be able to do it. But yeah, the fact that we can nurture life, even if that life didn't come from us, whether that is in animals or plants and in, in community. Being able to just fit in, like now, um, present in the mind is the war in Ukraine. I wonder where are the women leaders? If the women would be there, I would say that they would suggest let's have a drink, let's have a cup of tea or coffee, and let's talk about it rather than bombing each other. Strength, physical fame. <laughs> I would say giving birth, being a mother for like 24-7. Giving birth. How nurturing 
nurture we we are, like how we you know we took care of people, how we took care of our child, our friends and stuff. Giving birth. Being emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Being a risk taker, strong in her belief. Yeah. Of course, uh, it's pregnancy and childbirth. Men can read about it, look in the, you know, look on YouTube, but I don't think they would understand. Being pregnant for nine months, carrying an alien in your body for nine months. Independent, flexible, and loving. Independent, confident, and passionate. Strong, empowered, witty. Independent, strong. Women of today, nowadays, have so many options open to them. We can work, we can raise families, we can also continue with our education. Independent, awesome, because growing up in today's generation, there are so many problems. It could be political, it could be economical, environmental. It's a miracle seeing women these days um, enduring this kind of lifestyle, not to mention the price tag. And the third one would be perhaps strong. Not in the sense strong that we have to be physically fit or strong, but strong in all aspects. It could be emotionally, physically, and also um, mentally. A lot of women are now independent. Resilient, flexible, and independent. <laughs> Brave, strong, and amazing. Brave, outspoken, and amazing. Be strong, independent, and Superhero. Independent, beautiful, really intelligent. <laughs> Divine, leader, cheerful. One is we are very versatile. We can do men's job, we can do a lot of things. There are a few things that, you know, I can't do, you know, like I won't lift bricks or the heavy stuff, but I think there are women out there who could actually do that, like climb up the roof, uh, be a construction worker. There are lots of them out there. Second is being feminine. We are feminine, but we are brave. We are also very firm when we know what we want. I see women of today, we compared to our previous generation, our mothers, we probably have more opportunity now, thanks to them who actually fought for us before to make sure that their children, you know, like our mothers, our aunties were fighting for us so that we are treated equally in the workforce and our words are taken seriously. We still have a long way to go. The men are becoming more understanding now of what we are fighting for.